What up? And we are live. Welcome to the hunt. I'm Tony Sanders. As you can see, I got my boy JD Comics. He's actually hey, right. Yes, I am. <laughs> How is everybody doing tonight? Then we got, as always, Jeffrey Comic Con Henson. What's up? <laughs> up, guys. I was just getting done watching uh, issues and Whitewell. They were talking about Mr. Miracle, man. They, they did a pretty good, pretty darn good job with that, man. I really enjoyed yeah. that. And I'm gonna have to read that thing because, like, uh, issues. He loves that book, and it's like, uh, and he did win the yellow cover with that book too. As a matter of fact, so uh, I'm gonna have to read that thing and see. You know, I've got like the just the dark side negative one. I got that issue, and uh. But yeah, I have to read the whole thing. And also, our guest tonight is Chad. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? <laughs> Chad, what is up, Chad? Comic. Yeah, yeah. It's Chad ninety. Well, it used to be Chad ninety MF Comics. Now it's just ninety MF Comics, and that's because I, I do a podcast called Ninety Miles from Comics, and I'm trying to try to get the other guys that I do the podcast with to try to you know, entice them to make their own content. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, post it, you know, it's, you know, our channel. So I'm hoping that you'll see more than just my face on here soon. But I do want to thank you guys for Janie, j letting me join you guys today. <laughs> Cheers, JD. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, well, no problem, man. No problem. Uh, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to Chad, his link is in the description. So go to the description and, uh, su and subscribe up to Chad. Appreciate that. Thank you, Tony. Mm -hmm. So, uh, on the hunt, as you know, we show the books that we find in the wild, and then we do the two competitions that we do, which is the Hustle of the Week, and then the winner is usually the one that picks out the theme of the week. So, uh, JD, do you want to go first, or you want Jeffrey to go? Oh, actually, Je Jeffrey, shout out the chat a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Go oh, ahead. You know. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do that. The famous... This is famous right here. <laughs> hey, hey, we got Stay Puff 1983 in the chat, my buddy. What's going on, man? Caleb, Comic Smurf Murphy, what's going on? Dre Boogie, good to see you tonight, buddy. Bake the Snake, always good seeing you. Me and Bake were just hanging out in the uh, the uh, the live stream with Whitewell, and I got issues. Good to see you. Had good talks during there. Comic Books NYC, one of my great friends. Always love seeing you. Gorilla Grodd, thanks for stopping by tonight. We got Perry Comics in the house. Comic Book Brother, what is up, my friend? How are you doing tonight? Mo, what is up, Mo? Always good to see you, too. Wingnut Steve, man, great guy right there. Uh, really supportive of me, and I know some other people in the community. Thank you for stopping by tonight, Wingnut. Collectible paper, he's already given me a vote, so wow, I can't beat that. Thank you very much. Stacy's weekly comic book picks. Thank you for stopping by tonight, Stacy. Uh, I was watching your video you put out the other day. Uh, you get some great pickups, man. You're really starting to get uh, heated up there, boy. You are getting some really good picks we got going on. Mr. Gretzky, 9966. Good to see you. Thank you, sir, for stopping by tonight. Uh, let's see anybody else joining right now. Oh, the Slab Dragon. TJ's in. Oh, TJ. TJ. Good to see He's you. He's going to enjoy tonight. <laughs> Mike, Mike Johnson stopped by. Mike Johnson in the chat. Good to see you, Mike. The Model Vault. Good to see you, Model Vault. Thank you. So that, um, that was legendary. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's start this off, shall we? Um, all right. All right. You want me to go first, Tony? Yeah, go ahead, JD. Okay, first book I'm pulling out is from the Golden Age, 1947. Okay, The Jungle Girl. This is a 1947 book right here from Fawcett Publications. You can see here. One thing you're going to know about my golden age is I love the jungle books. And you got an elephant right there, which is a big key why I like the jungle books, as well as what's next to that, which is some really good looking Google art. Nyoka, Nyoka is a good series that they did a lot of uh, art covers at first, and then they went into photographs. So good stuff right here. Um, this is my book. This is Nyoka Jungle Girl. This is number 26. And it's a jungle stampede, thrills, danger. But you got a lot of other animals in there. I mean, this is drawn really well. It's a nice condition, too. I mean, I mean, this is this is old. So this is golden age. And you got there you got sorts of animals in there. You got cheetahs, lions, gorillas, parrots. I don't know what this warthog thing down here is. Uh, pretty good stuff. A lot of birds. 
cool stuff. Nyoka, the Jungle Girl. And what year was that? Uh, I think 1947 or 48 at that time. Okay. It's in good condition. I mean, I went through it, and it looks really good. So cool book right here. There you go. <laughs> So, Jeffrey, you want to go next? Yeah, absolutely. So I was at a, we had like a local little tiny convention inside of the mall here in town uh, last weekend, and I was digging through some boxes and uh, ended up picking up the Civil War II issue number three mm. with the Incredible Hulk on there. I mean, the guy wanted $2 for it, so like I'm not going to turn that down. Yeah, that's a cool cover. I like the cover, though. Actually, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. you know who did the cover? No, Marco, no Marco, Marco Jerkovic and Jerkovic. <laughs> in addition, in addition to that that's actually the true first or the origin of how Hulk becomes immortal. That's why I had been looking for it, and I I'd almost bought it on eBay for like fifteen dollars a couple days before I found it, and then I ended up getting it for two bucks. So I was like, what? So yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I got this book. I won it from uh, Reggie. And uh, and the funny thing is, see, Woodard told me that he, uh, Reggie had won it from him. So I guess this is a it's comic family book, I guess. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Lazarus One, signed by Greg Rucker. Oh, nice book. Yeah, so it's supposed to be option for like a TV or something, TV show. Yeah, it is. So just in case Reggie thought I didn't, I forgot, I do have it, Reggie. <laughs> So that's like uh, another one of those image books. <laughs> nice. So, Chad, what do you got for us, bro? All right. I mean, <clears throat> um, I get. I, I get. How many rounds is this? Can I ask that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We do six, and then we do the two competitions. Okay, because I picked up more than six. Oh, you're fine. Uh, you're fine. All right, you're fine. cool. But I can like bunch like one thing because they're actually it's like a whole arc together so i could just do that together all right so i guess the first thing i'm gonna show uh is i found this avengers no surrender 682 and mm -hmm. this me and jeffrey have talked about this on my channel one time and we believe that this is the first appearance of immortal hulk because even though he doesn't emerge from the tomb in this issue he is mm -hmm. talked about in this issue and he's on about five panels so i don't i mean I don't. That looks more like a more than a cameo to me, and we discussed mm -hmm. that. But I know it's not like super hot right now. But this is a book if you're an Immortal Hulk fan that I would tell you, you definitely want to get. So Avengers. I agree. Two. That's my first. Absolutely. Book. Boom. And I've seen like yeah, Jeffrey showed it, and I've seen it in a, a few other channels too. Yeah, I mean, they. I guess they are considering it like a cameo first appearance now. But I mean, I think it's it's a definitely a good enough first appearance where if you're trying to get the Mortal Hulk series, you bought that one for sure. Yeah. Well, what do you What do you got, JD? All right, let's, let's grab another Jungle Book up here out of our here. Let's do this. Is a nice one here. Sheena, number nine, good girl art right here, and this is from the uh, Fiction House. 19 it's a i think it's 1950 something 152 sheena number nine see there nice tail light shot for everybody very good of course there's elephants down here and this doesn't suffer from the typical fiction house color deterioration the color is absolutely fantastic on this the pink on the on the elephants is still there usually when you see this book they're usually about real tan now a little star in this one this is jerry Iger's group right here and you never know who this is 1954. Sorry. Um, the one thing about this is you never know who did the cover really because Iger Shop is how it could be any of the Iger guys. So it's just really good. So this is some gold stuff right here. Some more gold. Uh, this is definitely gold week. So I will show mine. And there you go. This is it. A little head. I tell you, of course, it's another good girl art. And of yes, Tony, she has a knife. <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. So, Jeffrey, your turn. Yo, again? Okay. <laughs> I got, I, I picked up another, oh, not another, but I picked up a copy of Incredible Hulk issue number 220. Um, it's in pretty darn good condition. I got this one again at that uh, convention in the mall. You know, they want, 
I paid seven dollars for it, which is probably a dollar or two too much. But sometimes at a convention, I don't mind paying a little extra for someone I want. So I thought that was cool. That's a cool cover, though. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard, like for me, because I bought up a lot of the Incredible Hulk stuff at the, the, the shop that I go to here in town. So when I get um, a chance to get some of the ones I don't have, er, sometimes I do have to pay a little more. I enjoy it. You know, it's a good good hobby. So. Yep. All right. Well, this one is going to be the X-Men, the end of the X-Men issue 46. With the juggernaut yeah. on the cover, so I just like that. Ernie Chan. Yeah, I just love that. Uh, just love that cover with the juggernaut on there. That's very cool. Yeah. Good stuff, Ernie Chan. Yep. Very cool. Oh, it's got a it's got a, a date stamp on it too. May 9th, nineteen sixty eight. Sixty eight. Yeah. Thinking when that was. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's actually uh, not one of the ones you see out there. A lot of people like that issue. Yeah, it's a pretty good book. All right, Chad, back All on right. the spot. Yeah, back up. And then just there's two for the theme, correct? Uh, one, just, we have the we have, well, there's the hustle, and then there's the theme. All right. All right, cool. Because I I don't know. I guess. Because I picked up three for the theme, but I'm going to use this one, I guess, for the hustle. So this one is Carnage number 10, and it's the first appearance of Craze. It's the symbiote that spawns off of, off of Carnage, which is pretty cool. I'm a big Carnage fan. That's why I'm wearing a shirt. And, uh, yeah, I think it was pretty cool to find. And who knows what could happen in the future with this character. So, you know. A lot of Carnage cool. stuff's picking up. So, yeah. Not yeah, especially bad. Especially with the... At the scene of the, what was it, the end scene of the Venom movie with uh, Woody Harrelson? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, any new people in the chat? We got the chats right there. You got Infamous, Mo Model Wall, Caleb, Comics. My we got it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I can. In the house, we got Joker M21. Thank you for stopping by tonight, guys. Um, Black Key Comics, thank you for stopping by. Aggressively react, react, aggressively relaxing. Thank you for stopping by tonight. Good to see all of you guys. Very cool. So I was going through the dollar bin, and uh, you know they're not in really good alphabetical order or anything else. I was looking for a particular Daredevil, and they didn't have it. But I scrolled by this one, and Marvel Knights. Daredevil number 52, but it's signed by David Mack himself. In dollar bin. That's a nice pickup right there. It's kind of a cool cover. I haven't read it yet. I will tell you, I do like the Marvel Knights run, so I will read this uh, at some point. Signed or not, I'm still going to read it. But David Mack, Daredevil, uh, The Man Without Fear. Uh, pretty cool cover, but um, there you go. He even has his name on top and signed down here. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Um, so I picked up a lot of Incredible Hulk stuff this last weekend. But uh, big, one big other shocker one, to everybody. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, another one I picked up was issue number 232. I saw mm -hmm. this, and it, you know, it's got Captain America in the back right there, the two of them working together. And that I, I oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't have this one, and you know, it's all I, I love when you can get a cover like this, and you got two like mainstream heroes on it at the same time. That's that is super cool. What number is that? Two thirty-two. I was trying to see if I could figure out who did it. I hadn't had a chance to open it up yet. I'm not that, sure. That's though. gonna be on my list. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool one, man. Like it's real cool. <laughs> 78. 1978. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to open a box right now. I'm yeah, we have. Not good. Oh yeah, we I, got some. I, one more before I do my unboxing. Okay, I got a lot more. Uh, this one I'm going to show. Hey. Uh, I showed this on uh, What's Your Grail, and uh, this one I'm just going to show because it's my son's. But it's got. A, there's a reason why I'm showing it, and it'll be my next book. Why? But uh. This is a uh, Fantastic Four 52, and it's uh, 
first appearance of Black Panther. Right now, it's his favorite. It's his, it's his favorite character right now. So hopefully, he'll enjoy this growing up that he has the first appearance. So um, very cool. So I got that for him. Fun. So he's cool. actually got all three. He's got like well, he's got the. You can see back there, right there. That's the second appearance, and it's signed by Joe Sonat. I love hey, that. real real quick, I just want to apologize. I was I was doing something and I accidentally clicked the button and I timed Caleb Murphy out for the three hundred seconds. So sorry, Caleb, I hit the wrong button. I don't know what I did. I did, did not mean I did not mean to put you in timeout. I really apologize. That's, That's okay. Sorry, Caleb, man. We didn't mean to sorry, Caleb. All right, we're back on chat. All right, uh, so I guess the next thing I'm gonna go. I found this like together, like as a lot, uh, all for ten bucks. And this is Green Lantern forty eight through 50, 52. and it's the first appearance of Kyle Rayner, mm -hmm. um, which is an awesome cover. And then the, the cover behind that. That's shout, my favorite. That's like yeah. Favorite. Shout out to my boy, the comic head. He would say the Brady cover. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then you had the first appearance of Parallax, which is this one here. And then there is 51, and I guess 52 might have been left in my box. Is it? Yeah, it is. That's a good, like, every, like everybody is that the Jeff John series? What series uh, is that? Uh, it's Mars and Car. Okay. And then the last part of the run. So it was a lot together for 10 bucks, and I just felt like I couldn't, like, pass that up. So I hopped nice. on it. That was Thank a good yeah. deal. Yeah. Like, like the like the one with the rings. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, bro, it, it's, it's like I said, bro. When I saw, I couldn't believe it, and I was like, if you know, it's got two first appearances in it, and I'm like, all right, I'm just, I'm walking away with this. So. <laughs> <laughs> so JD, what do you got? Are you gonna do them? You got one more? Or are you gonna do the unboxing? Well, I have two unboxings. One for the. And two more for the next two. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, this is uh, right here. This is K This is not. Uh, this is Kangan number uh, nineteen. I think, or yeah, or ni nineteen. This is a good cover right here. This is beautiful, golden age again, nineteen fifty four, with some Joe Doolin action here. He's one of the best of the jungle rhymes right here. And if you want to know why, he draws women a certain way. And there's your first day on the headlights. This is what we call a headlight cover, everybody. On top of an elephant hey. with red eyes. So there you go. You got red eyes and you got some lights. Jeffrey. And this is good <laughs> stuff right here. I mean, you got. I always like the ones where the elephant is in the action. He's not just hanging out in the background. And this so the two cheat, two cheetahs and a cheetah right here. Look at this one. This, she's, the uh, elephant's getting him. So. Yep. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what happens. He's that is, that is a smile. So there you go. Kanga, Joe Doolin. Love this stuff, and uh, a lot of Robert Webb is the artwork. And I went through this book pretty good. It's another one in great shape. I mean, each of these John John Jungle books I got this week, and I spoke to the Slab Dragon. Uh, shout out to my friend, Mr. TJ Slab Dragon Watson. I spoke to him for a while, and I said, you know, this is getting really good. He knew the buyer, so I uh, just called him. I just bought him on eBay off the guys. I don't really buy a lot on eBay, and this was my uh, eBay purchase. So good stuff. Didn't nice. pay a lot for these three. These, these, any of these could have been one of my entries for uh, good stuff. That goes with my jungle, my golden age collection. You know. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, Jeffrey, what do you got? All right, this next book, I don't know if anybody's even going to know or ever, has ever heard about. It's from Fireman's Press, um, and it is Scud, the Disposable Assassin. Yeah, I know who that is. First print, um, the book I had as a kid. And uh, I decided to finally pick it up because I really wanted to have it back in my collection. So one other one that I got this week. You know, it's funny because there's like three printings, I think, of this of this book. And the covers all look the same except underneath it, it says like second printing. And then this one will say like third printing. First printing is like, it's, I don't know if it's rare, but there's not as many of them out there. And you're definitely going to pay a decent price, what I call a decent price for it. So you know, one of those you kind of got to bite the bullet on, I guess. Heck yeah, you don't see a lot of them though. But like, those no. are, yeah, I do know that book though. <laughs> so let me go ahead. Like the reason why I showed the uh, first appearance of the Black Panther is because I was going to show this one. Uh, I picked this one up 
for like what was the name of a lot? I think it was like thirty five bucks, maybe forty after shipping. But it's a uh, Tales of Suspense, yep. number ninety eight. It's a great book. You got a uh, Cap and a uh, Black Panther on the cover. Jack Kirby goodness. Yeah. Yeah, they actually fight a lot in Marvel and yeah. early fight appearances. Sick, sick. Uh, since uh, I guess Cap One Hundred, there's a couple of Avengers. The uh, one with the Invaders first appearance, like seventy five, and that. Yeah. yeah, and that's actually if, if you have belong to Marvel Unlimited, that's available right now. To read, yeah. it's a good good story. Yeah, that's a love the cover on it too. I was gonna yeah, get this like for the uh, the yellow covers that time. I was gonna get this one, but then I like held off. Yeah, that's a that's a good book. I almost bought it one time. Um, it wasn't in very good condition, and that was the reason why I had passed on it. But that's a book that I'd like to have also. Nice one. Hey, I'll tell. Hey, a green label. There's nothing wrong with a green label. There's nothing wrong with this book. I could crack this open right now and read it. Yeah, if I wanted right. to. And green it's like good. there's nothing missing in it. There's nothing missing in it. It's all there. It's just cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not gonna break my bank. To get books that are, you know, like I'm looking for a qualified Witch's Tales 25 so I can create another full married on, respect, <laughs> you know, because exactly a, a coverless one. Uh, so, all right, Chad's up. All right, yeah. So, I guess the next one I'm going to show here is uh, I found an amazing Spider Man 700, which is the death yeah. of Spider Man and the first appearance of Superior Spider Man which was pretty cool. And then this cover is actually like a collage cover of Spider-Man and Venom to create Spider-Man's eye, which is pretty cool. I know this does it no justice on my camera, but if you guys can go check it out, I would highly recommend it. This is a really, really cool cover. And I believe any Spider-Man fan should probably have this book. See, I've seen that one time and like, I like passed up on it. And like every time I do that to myself, I always get mad. It's like, like, you know what it is, you just pass up on it, and then it's like you regret it later. Yeah, I mean, it's still pretty affordable. So before, I guess, anything, I guess, happens, I mean, I, I wouldn't really put too much speculation into this, but I did, I just think it's a cool book to have. The cover's great, and it's got two, you know, significant events in there for a Spider-Man fan, you know? So, yeah, that's true. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's do some unboxing right here. All right. So these are two books I waited to get back, and they are one I'm expect. You know, I I do know the grades because I had to double check the census on these. But these books are only the third book on the CGC census, so there's only three of them on the census. So and one of them oh. I know one of the other guys that have one, and this is just you know what a typical packaging here. Sorry, I'm showing it off screen, but it just opened. Here it is. Oh. Sorry, I, I hate doing unboxings live, but that's why you know, I'm glad I had it all pulling out paper and peanuts and everything else. But yeah. Oh, yeah. First one I'm going to show. Let's do one more Jungle Book for the next one. But here you go. This is a slab Lorna the Jungle Queen number two from oh, 1953. Cool. Nice. And this is a Carl Burgess cover, one of my favorites right there. And this is a. Uh, Nice good girl art with a knife, Tony, right here, slab. And it's a 5.5, five, and that's a pretty good grade for a book from 1952. Beautifully slabbed. And you got the Elephant 1, Elephant 2, and Lorna coming right at you. Lorna the Jungle Queen, I have a bunch of uh, – I like the series. It's pretty good. Always some good art. You never know who, who does them, but it's good stuff. And there's a nice little slab of docious out here. And I have pool coming up next. Look at that. She's looking good. And it's a little good girl on the back. By the way, if you want, there's a chewing gum that can reduce your weight. Maybe we should. I should be chewing this gum. Up to five uh, pounds a week. Should. Up to five pounds a week you, you can lose by chewing this gum. <laughs> good stuff. By the way, All right. Her hair is always done really well for being in the jungle. <laughs> so, Jeffrey, what do you got, bro? Okay, to everybody's surprise, I'm sure, um, I have another Incredible Hulk, issue number 222. 
Um, these books were in really good condition. That's part of the reason why I picked these ones up. They're just kind of random. It wasn't like a certain, I wasn't like trying to get this issue completely, but they had a couple of nice issues in this box and the rest were kind of in bad shape. So I just picked the good ones out, but another good one to add to my collection. Oh, yeah. It's another Ernie Chan. Um, he's, he's, I, he's got, you know, he's got a pretty good style to his Incredible Hulk. So. Ernie Chan's great. Yeah, he is. Huh. All right, so this one is going to be kind of a, a a personal grill, well, a signature grill, really, a signature grill for me, because uh, I've been wanting this guy's signature for a while, and I found one on eBay, and I pulled the trigger on it, and I'm kind of happy to get it, and this is uh, Captain Marvel 33. Beautiful. And 8.0. Gorgeous. Yep, Origin of Thanos, signed by Jim Starlin. Ooh. Very cool. Yeah. So, Tony, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I know I know. when through the three weeks, you and I would be hanging out in Chicago with Chad. Yeah. Oh, no, Chad, you're not going to Chicago, right? I, wish I, I wish I was going to Chicago. But you're, no, you're, right. you're West Palm this weekend, but that's a great yes. one right there. But the following weekend, Tony, I'm going to meet Jim Starlin in Kansas City. Ah, see? That's cool. I need to get something else signed by him. Nice, nice, thanks. So, I might be sending you something, but yeah, that's... 8.0. Yeah. Like, I just always like love that cover. That's like something I like had to have. I never had a signature on a Captain Marvel book, and so I was like, I gotta get one. So found this Very book. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, that was one that has to go. Nice. We got some new people in the chat real quick. Uh, we got Fuchsia only. Hey, Fuchsia, good to see you. We got our boy, Who Dat Comics and Movies. What's up, Who Dat? Oh, uh, we got Jigs Kingdom. Good to see you, Jigs. Askia Jones. How you doing tonight, Askia Jones? Good to see you. Uh, we got Rush Diehard. How are you doing tonight, Rush Diehard? You're probably listening to some Rush right now, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Um... Roman Curtis, good to see you, Roman. How are you doing tonight? Comics for Thomas, good to see you, buddy. D Runk, what's up, D Runk? How are you doing tonight? Oh, uh, I think we got everybody. Infamous three seven two two, and uh, yeah, I believe we're caught up. That's my brother, by the way. So shout out to Infamous. Who? Oh, oh, Infamous is your brother. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Well, it's a family I, affair here. Yeah, I, I call him Me Man. So shout out to Me Man. Nice. Thanks for stopping by tonight, Infamous. Good to see you. All right, you're up, Chad. Oh, no, all right. Yeah. Uh, damn, man. Well, I I can show off all my books, right? That's cool. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not just, just don't show just off not. your two competition ones. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Sweet. So, all right. So the next one I'm gonna show is Vengeance of Bane number one, the first appearance of Bane. So oh, I nice. was able to find that to, at a great price, and I felt like I could not pass that up. And I guess you could say I'm pretty much all about keys and first appearances and all that funny good stuff. And That's cool. of course, if there's a storyline that I love, I will complete, like I will get everything in that story. But you know, outside of that, if I see a key or first appearance, I can't pass it up, you know? Yeah, it's like I had to get uh, Craven's Last Hunt because I was like, I had to have that. That's yeah, like yeah. And, and that's I love story, Craven's Last Hunt. And for instance, that's a storyline that I own completely. Like, that's a, what, like for sure. That's, you have to own that as a Spider Man fan, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, there's certain things, you know, but yeah, for this one, just cool to have first appearance, Bane. Nice. So. Hey, Marvel Joe, good to see you. Yeah, I do that too with certain ones, you know, like I get keys or first appearances. Um, of certain ones, you know, they're all there's nothing wrong with that, too. You know, like, oh, yeah, collect what you love, women. Right. I love women, okay, Jeffrey. Nice, <laughs> 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 so, uh, I get my up, Tony. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you're back. I'm, up. Gonna, pour, I'm gonna pour my 15 year single pot. Still. <laughs> yeah. what? This, this is one half of my grills. Uh, this is a this is a personal grill for me. Uh, this is only the third one on the census, and you're probably not going to see too many. Probably none of you have ever seen before. But Rush fan, I hope you listen to some Red Bar Cheddar Rush because this is called Wanted number 49, and I'm going to show this pretty close up here. This is a three and a half, and I'm not upset about this. Only two others on the census, a six and a half, 
and a four and a half. And I know the guy with the four and a half. And he actually had both books at one point, and we both got him slabbed. He got a four and a half. I got a three and a half. Um, these are from Orbit Publishing, and there's something special about this book right here. This is, if you want me to go here, uh, this is Sudden Death, the Snarling Avenger, 52. And if you want to look carefully at here, it's uh, Out of the Mausoleum, Weird Crimes, The Dog Cried Murder. There's a dog on top that's flying through the air right here. It's coming and you got some crime going on right here. But there's a little name down there that I'm going to reiterate. This is the first ever full cover-to-cover -cover John Buscema book ever done. It's the first one he did the cover. and all. Who, the who is it? It's John Buscema. Drink. <laughs> Drink. Cheers. 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 God, that's good. Whoa. Woo. That's some good stuff. But I've been looking for this book for a long time. I, this is really hard. Um, I've been, Actually, this, this was a six-year quest for me to find this book. I heard about it, and I looked for it, and it came available. And now it's back, and it's mine. And I'm very happy to have it. This is like the ghost or the unicorn of the John Buscema collectors. This is the unicorn. And I am one of three people that have it on the planet, at least slabbed. So. Wow. Nice, dude. Wow. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good, girl. Out because she's there's some suggestive, you know, bad right. Name. Especially for that time period. Well, as if you ever read some of those teenage temptations, look up Matt Baker. A uh, little shout out to uh, Midwest Comics, uh, Midwest Comic Man. You got, oh. got his thing. His Matt Baker rundown is probably one of the best ones ever. Matt Baker's top five artists of all time. And his rundown shows a lot of the suggestive covers, but the artwork is amazing. But back in that day, Teenage Temptations or Love Diaries and stuff like that were all crazy stories. So good stuff. Nice. There you go. Heck yeah, man. And, you know, the one the more thing, I, the guy with the four and a half is right now, and I'm kind of ticked because he says he thinks because he needs the money for something else. But I'm like, I'll ah. keep three and a half. I'd rather have this guy. So, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Nah. So, Jeffrey, what do you got? Oh, man. I was super stoked to get this book. Like, I've been wanting it for a while, but I finally got it. And it is Amazing Spider Man Annual, number 16. Nice. Oh. First appearance of Monica, Monica Rambeau. Rambeau. Yeah, man. Yes, I, just, I love her so much. It's so awesome. I just showed that book off on Comic Heads channel, man. That's so cool. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Like, I actually went back and got this just because I saw her in that new Avengers, uh, No Road Home or whatever. And I was like, oh, they're starting to use her even more. So I was like, I better pick this up now in case, like, something happens. But, yeah, man, Jeff I love got Monica Rambeau. Got right, a but... newsstand, too. Newsstand? Newsstand, <laughs> right? Oh, man, dude. Yes. <laughs> All right. So this one... If you've been watching the Grail show, uh, C. Water he had pulled out his uh, sketchbook, and he had uh, we invented the term uh, sketch grails because he had sketch grails, and uh, this one. And so in doing that, it made me want to get something, and uh, I got my first sketch grail, and it's the only one that I could say that's probably going to be on the census that looks the way it looks, that is the way it is, and it's uh, it's a nine point eight white pages. And it's a sketch of my boy. Oh. Hey, Jeffrey by Comic Con. By Pat Broderick. That That's is me. Pat Broderick, isn't it? He's yep. great. Pat Broderick grew this. Yeah. Did you did you meet him? No, no. This is like I've seen that like when I first came back to collecting, this book was on eBay forever. Okay. For like I've been looking at this book for years, for like a year probably. And okay. like they wanted two hundred dollars for it, but I would never pull the trigger on it. And then like I hit him up one day because I always, you know, I always mm -hmm. talk to people like, you know, when it comes to a book and I was like, will you take a hundred dollars for the book? Cause they wanted $200 for it. And they're right. like, yeah. So I bought this book for a hundred bucks. Right. Man. Was, I, 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 I hope you get a sketch with me when we're in uh C2 E2. Cause there's a lot of good sketch people out there that I'm going to get. So I'm going to try to, but yeah, this yeah. one right here is like, this is actually a corner cornerstone piece. that's going to be on my mantle for my Captain Marvel Beautiful. collection. Cause that's like awesome. It's like he hand drew it and inked it. And it's just, it just looks great, man. I mean, like I, 
I've looked at this book for a long time and I'm glad to finally own it. And it's like to have it now. So So yeah, TJ, I got something. I'm gonna Damn. post on Instagram. TJ TJ if TJ pulled out a nine nine of this with the same drawing on there. <laughs> Slap him. He's going to now just for you, Tony. Watch. Uh, we, we have been discovered. Oh, hey, Discovery Bay. What's going on? JB. What? But that was almost, this was almost my hustle of the week, but I decided not to because my other book is a little bit better. You can put that right next to your black and white X Men cover and they would match perfectly. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sign too. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Sick. <laughs> So dope. I told, Bueller, yeah. I told I told Bueller I'm getting a sign for us. It's, 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 it's me and it's me and Bueller's book, but it's stayed at my house. <laughs> That's too funny. Yes. Uh, all right, so I'm up. So I, yeah. I got I got two more books. So I, I guess before I show off my last book, the next book I have here, and I saw you mention this actually the other day, Tony. On your channel, you're getting. I think you're getting ready to get it signed and slabbed. And this is my second copy, and I didn't have a newsstand copy. So, of course, when I saw it, yeah, X Men 221, Sinister. first appearance of Mr. Sinister, a newsstand, I could not let that go. The only thing that sucks is the cover's a little faded. Like, I have my other one here. Let me grab it. You know, it's I like all one. of us. Yeah, yeah, right? But, I'm not faded. I'm not, <laughs> not yet. But it's a new stand, so I was super excited to add it to my collection. Heck yeah, um, man. That's like one of those covers that you see, and it's just like, all right, pick it up. You don't even care how much, you know, like you'll, you'll, you want to see how much it is, but it's like one of those ones where you automatically know what it is, and you'll just pick it up. No, especially with Wolverine, like a solo Wolverine covers. I picked up an X-Men uh, book. I don't even remember what issue it was, but it had it Wolverine on the cover. I bought it for $5, came home, and found out it was going for like 20 I was like, uh, Solo cover, red and black? Now it was it's I got it around here somewhere. It's just Wolverine. He's he's clawing down the front of the book and it's like sh cutting okay. the book up. The There's older a, Uncanny X Men. I, I want to say two oh four or something. Two twelve. Okay, either one. Yeah, that might have been it. Okay. I mean, and he's another character too that I would tell you to spec on with the MCU with Disney getting, you know, the X Men because. All right. I, 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 I agree with you, but if you want to know something that happened yesterday and today, I'm going to shout this out just because I've showed it to a lot of people. I don't know if you all saw her. Yesterday, Werewolf by Night. Oh, sold, yeah, you posted something on there. Eight, sold $50,000, a 9.8 uh, Werewolf by Night number 32. $50,000. The same auction, a 9.8 Hulk 181, $34,000. Yeah. Right? Crazy. A Captain America 1. Hmm. In a 7 that I've been showing Tony and kind of telling him the story that I know the guy who bought it because I just bought a book from him as well. Um, he spent $31,000. We'll spend $31,000 on it. So that's crazy. Well, like like I mentioned, um, was it on – no, on Wednesday night's comic – Unlimited. I mentioned that World by Night was setting records, and I didn't understand why. But my theory is that Kevin Feige is buying up all the books because he's going to make World by Night uh, uh, something in the MCU, and he's buying all the books. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess it's my turn to show the show the winner. Oh, the winner! <laughs> Can I show the winner. Well, I'm just going to uh, say right now, this is a grail. This is a grail for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a grill pretty much if you have this this is a grill it's uh i'm opening it now i haven't seen it in it and i'm nervous and i you know ever, how hey, you ever sit there and think when you're opening stuff up live that you might like, you ever wonder if you got scammed or something sometimes you'd be like oh, yeah, this, this could be a turok one we don't know <laughs> yeah uh, oh no it's not it is the book everyone's favorite book turok one yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Of, <laughs> this guy put tape on the. Oh, it's my line, so that's okay. Well, he did it to stop from coming out. Well, let's just show it right now. This is the second appearance of one character and the first appearance of the other, and this is one of mine. And Tony, if we had this last night, it would have been on our show. So, you ready? Yep. There it is. Can anybody in the chat which this is? I know what it is. 
The packaging, by the way, is two pieces of wood kept in there pretty good from a friend of mine. Now, this guy is selling this book, and he contacted me, uh, and I didn't like his price. It was over uh, $1,000 for it, well over 1000 he wanted for it. We came down to a reasonable price, and I gave him a down payment, and I says, you know what? If you know, if, if if you send me more pay pictures and everything, I'll be interested. And he came back and says, "Hey, what? Your down pay payment will be half instead of one third of it." So we even came even less. So I got this for I would say. By the way, this is the first appearance of Doctor Strange, uh, Strange Tales one ten. Second appearance of Mister Space Pot Pete. Drink. <laughs> Cheers. Doctor Strange is definitely one of my favorite heroes. Uh, the Ditko art inside is ridiculous. It's great panel work. I recommend everybody read those. Uh, just just look at the artwork. Is this is actually a 100% a Ditko character? Um, if you have a, a St Stan Lee in the beginning of this says story by Stan Lee, but Stan Lee admitted the fact that everything was Steve Ditko, Doctor Strange. But this is the first appearance of Doctor Strange. It's a pretty good looking copy right there for what I got for it. And if it comes back at least a one, I break even. And it's not going to come back a one. So it looks real nice. There's one little tick out here out of the top. Um, there's some moisture damage a little bit, but it's actually very hard to see. This is going to be sent to Paul at Midwest Comic Collectibles to get some loving. It's going to be taking a bath, getting a cleaning, and a nice uh, pressing after that. And this is my – this is – a long time coming. I've never owned this, and I've been wanting this as, since I was a kid. I didn't know what his first appearance was, but I used to read a lot of the Kevin Nolan, Frank Bruner, Doctor Stranges, and stuff like that. And this is his first appearance right here. Nice. Heck yeah, man. That is cool. There you go. I will leave that right here. All right. Jeffrey, what do you got for your hustle? Okay, so story. There's a backstory. Okay, um, I'm digging. I'm digging. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, I thought I was a little more prepared. Okay, I am. So I'm in my comic book shop and I'm reading Avengers No Road Home right now, right? And I was like, well, you know what? I should go back and pick up Avengers No Surrender because I never read it. So I'm flipping through, flipping through to find a couple of Avengers No Surrender books. Then I come up and I find, man. Hey. I have this book, but he had it price marked three dollars on it, right? And this is my local LCS that I go to every every day almost. So I walk up there and I tell him, I was like, "Hey man, you got this book in here?" I go, "You got it marked for three bucks." I go, "This book's going for nearly fifty dollars right now." I go, "Let me give you ten bucks for it." And he goes, "You're freaking crazy." He goes, "You know I don't change my prices." He goes, "Just for that, I'm charging you two fifty. So this is my hustle of the week. Two dollars fifty cents. Damn, bro, jealous. Man. What you gonna I, do? I need a second. I mean, I have a copy, but I need a second copy at that yeah, price. Well, I, need, sure. I need a third and fourth copy of this. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. You know, I, I'm not a multiple copy book kind of guy, but when it comes to Hulk, man, I like I want everything, you know, and I want as much as I can get. So I can't turn that down. Uh, give me a second. I got to unwrap this thing. Oh, are you unboxing one, Tony? Yeah, yeah, I'm unboxing one. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, I'm unboxing this. Um, this is a grill for a lot of people in a lot of different ways. And I had buyer's remorse when I bought it because it's not a grill for me though. But you know, yeah. um, but I bought it because. There's a lot of hype going on, so I just went ahead and tried to, to get ahead of the curve on it, I guess. Yeah, well, that sometimes is, um, you know, beneficial because there's, there's been a lot of times I, I should have bought a book and didn't, and then it goes up and gets astronomical. You know, I, I sold my – I told – I don't know if you know, Jeffrey, I sold my – Immortal Hulk's one through ten on eBay. I just, I just had to. Yeah, all I, of had to, I had to. It was hundred and fifty, one hundred and forty-eight dollars. I got for it. I'm like, okay. Well, you know, that issue, issue number two, is selling for eighty plus dollars. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> it makes no sense. Uh, raw, raw. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, and, uh, yeah, more Hulk is like it's going. It's hot right now, man. Yeah, yeah. I have no problem selling that to pay for this. You know. And uh, speaking of Hulk, I got this Hulk right here. It's not the best one, but it is one. And is it what I think it is? It's uh, one eighty. Oh. Yes. But this I call it the key book to get. This is my hustle of the week because the guy that I bought this from wanted a hundred dollars more than what I wanted to pay, and so I messaged him, and then like I got it knocked down a hundred dollars plus the shipping. So it's basically it was just like a almost like you know nope I didn't pay for the shipping, and like I got a hundred bucks off of it. And it's nice. the uh, first cameo appearance of Wolverine. Second window, I think, right? Yeah, yeah the second window, yeah. Yeah, Wendigo, yeah. Yeah, when to go appearance and it's a uh, four forty five. But I wanted to get this because like uh like one eighty one is out of control, so you know I figured get this one. It's probably the second best one to have, right? Like yeah, I, I actually I would say if you want value wise for the best bang for your buck, one eighty has set records this year slowly, but now Tony has got a book right now that's got more room to grow than a Hulk one eighty one because Hulk one eighty one is gonna cap out. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I mean, man, it, like, it's capital. I mean, it already lost to Werewolf by Night in one day, and it's still hoveraging around that thirty-four thousand dollars for a not nine eight of the bronze. And I still think that's ridiculous. But the one, yeah, well, the, yeah is man, a fraction of the cost, and it is a great, great book. And the panel in the back that shows Wolverine is—I know you can't see it because it's in the slab, but the panel yeah. is—is it's Trempy at his finest, and that's what it is. Yep, yeah, this is a uh, we love my right here. here. First cameo appearance of Wolverine, and as you see on the back, it's nice and clean. But yeah, it's that's like, a nice yeah. yeah, it's a nice little four point five there I got from that guy. So. It doesn't look like. I mean, you might want to. Do you do you know the pressing history of it at all? Or oh no, like it looks like it could be pressed and clean. Though. That's what I'm saying. Man. I mean, uh, that that could be a candidate for. Uh, you know that that CGC swap that's still going on. Fifty percent off of grading. Yeah. Uh, off white to white pages. That's okay. Yeah, that's good. So that is my hustle. Good stuff. All right, hi right, Chad. All right, so my last one for the hustle, I guess, is nothing like you two, but I try. I thought I was gonna try. I, I figured I'd try to impress JD, and I found a ten cent cover, so I figured okay. I would show that off. Uh, unfortunately. I did some research on it. It is not Golden Age, but it's House of Mysteries 102. Uh, very cool. Book. So it's a, it's, it, yo, the cover is awesome. Yeah. And I know it's nothing crazy, but I will say this. It's my first 10 cent cover book. So very I've, cool. Good for you. So, and I figured it would be cool to show off here on the hunt with you guys. And I know I it's nothing crazy like, you know, what you have, JD, but oh, I that's figured, all right. I try to, you know, I thought I'd try to impress you a little bit. So that's when I came 19, across it. That's 1959, I think, right? Is that? Yeah, I believe year? so. I want to say it's yeah. like 59 or 60. But yeah, it could, it, I think it, it, it's 59. Yeah, it's a great book. Um, I think it, the date on it is 60, but it came out in 59. How submit. It's a great oh. story for anybody. Those are good stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan. That's a great book. Looks great. Look great. Yeah, it, Look it's a, copy. It's a great. Those it, blue colors are popping with that purple monster right there. Look at that thing. Yeah, it's no. It, it, when I Ooh, came across it, it for a ten cent book, and I saw Ooh. the condition of it, I was like, you know what, man, this might be my first ten cent cover book. So, and I figured it would. You would know a little bit about it, JD. So, awesome, yeah. man. Cool. That Make and that's big fan. that is my last. Book on the hunt. <laughs> All right, so let the chat decide. We have JD's first appearance of Doctor Strange, my first cameo appearance of Wolverine. Uh, I still say first, first appearance of Wolverine. I know it looks like it too. And uh, <laughs> we have the first uh, Mortal Hulk, and then we have uh, the the Journey in the Mystery book by Chad House of Mystery. House of Mystery my bad. House of Mystery. Yes. So let us see what the chat has to say about this. Who has the hustle of the week? Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Jeffrey, okay?
I'm gonna look. Oh, I'm gonna look oh, at oh. They got solid yeah. books. Tony Hulk 180, JD, JD, can't decide. You all have some great books. Thank you, Marvel. So, so, so right now, JD is in the lead. Everybody loves Wolverine. Uh. <laughs> Tony, yeah, you got two. There's Tony. Okay, JD, it's looking like JD's got this. JD, yeah. JD. Yep. Tony, JD. And just, just to heighten it up, I'm supporting a guy who uh, – Spoke up this guy. It's not really haggling as much. I'm supporting a guy who's ill and wants to leave books for his kids if he doesn't make it. And he's actually trying to get every Spider-Man from one through thirty-three, the whole Dit Ditko run. He's a huge Dit Ditko fan. Mm. In a nine point two or higher, and he's got to vote for Chad. He's only three. Hey, away. that's my brother. That's some brotherly love. Thank you, bro. <laughs> he's only three away from every Spider-Man in a nine point two or higher, from one through thirty-three. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's a not. It's a nice guy. If he's on, he's on Instagram. Well, he's not on Instagram, but the guy who's selling books for him is on Instagram, including a GSX one. Tony, I think I sent you that GSX one, a picture of that one. It yeah. looks. It's so nice. If the back wasn't screwed up, it would be. It's the nicest white cover I've ever seen of that book. Just beautiful. But I know you got that beauty behind you over there. <laughs> All right, we got. I, I'm pretty sure JD has. Uh, yeah, JD won this one. Yeah. That's okay. I'm. Uh, that's good. I. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's okay. He that's expected okay. it. He expected it. He said it the other night, and I was yeah, like, he, 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 I mean, this is a personal growl of mine. Oh, like, for sure. If you watched Tony's last night. I said, I'd love to show my third favorite superheroes. You know, because I showed Thor, I showed the Silver Surfer, and Doctor Strange is my third. But I've never had a 110 because it's always been one of those books that is a was hard to find for years. Um, just wasn't one of those books that traded back back and forth. And another thing about it was is that because it wasn't really high price, but it was really it's there's not many of them compared to you know a Journey 83 or a Fantastic Four 48. There are less of these out there. And I was sitting here and I'm like, I wish I had the other two books, but I only this was on my you know my Grail list for this year. This was on it, so, so, and I'm a big Death Strange fan, so, so. Hey, well, congrats, JD. I'm happy you got your a Grail, man, and I'm jealous as shit. Uh, it's gonna be <laughs> now. Now, I gotta, now. I gotta ship this thing off, and actually, you know, I want to sh sh shout out to um, uh, a couple of pe people here uh, that convinced me to get this. Uh, a lot of guys in the Comic Core. Uh, a lot of guys, uh, Tony, you know, I said this to you, says I might pull the trigger on this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was nervous that whole Saturday, and I didn't get it. And he's like, no, he's at a con. He took it to him with a con to sell in L.A. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, I want it. I want it. I just got to pull. I just got to come back on a price. And he came back. He goes, if you give me this much now, I will hold this for you for a week. And he had to hold it for four days while my ebook, when my eBay – auctions ended and my first time ever well i've sold on ebay a bunch of times but my first time ever out raw books on ebay so and the guy got my raw books and he loved them he said they're in better condition they're all 9a potential well of course they're yours <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah 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 well I'll just, you know but it was pretty good and it, it, it's it's fairway comics and collectibles he's the one who um hooked, hooked me up with this guy he told me the story that this guy was selling his Strange Tales collection off and uh, actually bought another book from <laughs> from the guy who's trying to get the Spider-Mans. He's trying to get a uh, Spider-Man 3 and a 9-2 or a 9-4 right now. That's the final, final four Spider-Mans to have in a 9-2, and he wants to leave that for his kids. So, oh, nice. Yeah. So are we yeah. going to do the last cover? Or we, 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 it doesn't we matter. Jeffrey, we, we got Jeffrey time. I, I got a box to open tonight, so we could do. I'll do that after we do these ones. Yeah, I want to see them unboxing. Yeah, I love these unbox. See live live boxings. It's it's the way to do this, hon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But so it's very practical. Do you want to know what it looks like when you haven't seen it, other than you staring at the pic picture of it, and it becomes your screensaver at work that you're gonna finally own this, and all of a sudden you open it up and you're like, yes, it's here. And honestly, I, I just keep staring at it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I know the feeling. Yeah. With some other books in my boxes. So mm. enjoy that, bro. 
Well I'm deserved. I'm about to pull the trigger on another one. Hopefully, <laughs> go well. So, but that's the two month process. So. I don't know, but I'm happy about this. Yeah. This one right here is like the happiest purchase I've ever had. Original sick. art, though. Original that's art is so way to go. I, mean, I can't wait for CC3. Tony, I've got two yeah, commissions yeah. lined up already, but I'm not doing covers. I'm doing one as a piece and like a 11 by 17 piece, and I'm doing another one that's going to be a cover. But um, if you want to do a commission, you know, I'll, I'll shoot you a, a message and I'll go over the commission places I plan on, uh, guys I plan on talking to. So, and there's a guy there, by the way, Sajad Shah is going to be there. Tony, I'm going to show you a book. So while Jeffrey's getting ready to do his unboxing, or we're going to show the next book. Um, oh, are we supposed to show yeah, our cover? Yeah. Well, uh, well, my so, unboxing. So, so um, what what is the theme, Jeffrey? What was the theme? So you can go over. It the was theme. like okay. The theme was um, like uh, a comic book cover with the character on the cover having their back to the reader. Like oh, you know, oh, right. uh, I thought I'm walking away. away. Walking away. Well, walking that's away. the same thing. You, it's no, the same no. thing. Walking away with back. Well, to the reader. Uh, I don't know. Can well, I say my, this? My my character is walking away. Walk away, so. baby. Walk away. So you just want to see it, anyways? Okay, I, here we go. I cover right. my bases. I got one of each. So I oh, look at you. This is uh, Hulk issue number thirteen. This is a John Romita Jr. one in twenty five variant homage to Sp Amazing Spider Man fifty, and more so the very last page of Amazing Spider Man fifty than the cover because this is. I mean, Amazing Spider-Man 50 was done by John Romita Sr., and this is almost exactly like that back page. Super Amazing Spider-Man 50. Yeah. Man graded. Crazy. The only reason it's a slab is because I got this slab cheaper than a raw copy. No joke. They had this for sale on eBay for $20. I offered them 10 and they accepted. So. <laughs> That's crazy. That's how you do it. Hey, yeah, J.D., well, good catch, by the way. I saw thank that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I gotta put those. In I don't know. Like mine were weird because like I had two books and like I'm gonna show you the one I didn't go with and I'll show you the one I did go with. But I didn't go with this one because I was gonna go with it. But then I was like, uh, but, you know. So was when Sunspot leaves the uh, New Mutants right from the right before the um, X Force and uh, first was appearance of uh, Shatterstar and Feral. Yeah. I, that but, was uh, one I was thinking about going with. Too. But I went with this one, which is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 492, J. Scott Campbell. Oh, nice. And, uh, so I went with this one. I like this one because it's like she's walking away from everybody. And, you know, it's like, I thought it was a cool cover plus J. Scott Campbell. And yeah. he draws like the coolest spider women anyway. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Um, I, I, I actually, I did do it. <laughs> Uh, this is my walking away cover. Nice. So uh, yeah. That's All weird. right. So it, it it's supposed to be the back towards the cover, Jeff. Is that like the standards for this? No, I get. I said walking away with a character walking away. So, oh man! I mean, no, I don't know which one to choose because I got two. Um. All right. Well, you know what? Because I guess because you intended for the walking away with the back. I'm just going to choose that one as my cover, but I guess the one I guess I'm not going to choose, and I might kick myself for not choosing this, and the chat will tell me later, uh, but I'm, I got an X-Men 138, Cyclops walking yep. away. From oh, the yeah. wow, nice. That so it's a great, yeah. you know, I know it's a great pick, and it's a great cover, and of course, you know, any, any X-Men fan. But, of course, when you speak of walking away covers, there's a, there's a few that, like, come into your mind and of course you know asm 50 is one of them yeah uh, you you have uh a couple others that i can't really think of off the top of my head but this is definitely one and i will say i think it's also i mean maybe a little undervalued but this is new titans 39, 39 sir and is dick grayson walking last away yep. the last appearance of dick grayson as robin before i have that book week. that's a good one and so, um I yeah, that's a good yeah. book to have right now, man. And I mean, and I know I guess we're kind of changing the parameters now, but if it was supposed to be, you know, the back facing the cover, this would be the one I would choose. So I'll just do no, that based off sure. of what I said. So yep, that's what I got there. I guess I'll put that here because I'm choosing it. That's a very really good book. 
So there was a couple others. It was actually harder than I thought to find one. See, I almost like I almost bought a uh, Amazing Spider-Man fifty. <laughs> I did. I, yeah, yeah, I, was, I mean, bro, I it was one of those I wanted to pull out on this, but I'm like, it's one of my key books I want to get eventually, and it's not because of the cover; it's because it's Kingpin. And I'm a Daredevil fan who likes Kingpin in Daredevil um, a lot more than I like him in Spider Man, to be honest with you. Um, right. But, um, He's hey, one of my favorite villains. Yeah. I'm on the same boat. I want to try to get uh, that book. Have. You know, all my villains are the guys that stand in the background that don't 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 get into it, with the exception of Taskmaster. But um, <sighs> so there was like a Master of Kung Fu. Um, there was a Swamp Thing book. Uh, oh, there's a away. lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that. You know, I, ca I can't pull out a book that I already have, you know. Right. Well, uh, obviously, yeah. But um, I it, there wasn't as many as I expected. I thought it was going to be easier. Oh, it was a little hard to find. Oh, I did. It was. I did forget to mention this one is newsstand. So when I saw <laughs> that, hey. uh, like I almost didn't walk away with it. And when the and then when I like looked at it again, I'm like, oh, it is a newsstand. I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and take it. So. Yep, that'll change your whole perspective on the um, <laughs> For sure, bro. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Well, why the chat votes? I want to do an unboxing of a package right. that I got that got sent to me by Marvel Joe. Um, I hope you're still in the chat. I was hoping you'd be here tonight so that way I could unbox it. Um, he just asked me if he could send me something, and I thought that was pretty cool. So we will get into it right now. See what we got. A nice, nice job packaging it up, of course. Marvel Joe, he's a pretty cool dude. I talked to him on Instagram, and he, you want to talk about a collection of books, that guy has some books. He was sending me pictures, man. It's just tons of books everywhere. And straight up, shout out to the 39 people still in the chat. We got to 41, maybe 42. I, I don't exactly know, but thanks, everyone, man. Hit that thumbs up Absolutely. button for us. We still got Comic Head 84 in here, Marvel Jose, my brother's still in here. We got Flaming Sheila up in the house. We got Count Van Strange. You're getting pretty good at that. Yeah, bro. We got Joker M21, Sam Tangle Webb, the architect himself. He's got a giveaway, guys. Make sure you go hit up Sam Tangle Webb. Giveaway. So hit them up. Thank you guys for joining us. And oh, we got TJ the Slab Dragon. We still got JB in the house as well, man. Who does right, TJ? TJ, <laughs> TJ, TJ ch check out that beautiful TJ. cover. Dude. Hey, let, me, let me put it on. All right. Here, here you go, okay. TJ. What if you, that Dude, that's what I'm yo. posting. I'm posting this. This is what. Okay, so we, we got some books here. This is what Marvel Joe sent me. Dude, this is insane. Thank you, Joe. We have Adventure into Fear with the man called Morbius, the living vampire. Check oh, this out. Oh, that is a great book, man. Dude, issue number 30, I think. That is a yeah. sick cover. Uh, I was telling him that I just kind of started collecting some horror covers, and of course he sends me that. Issue number 29 of the same title, the living vampire Morbius. Dude. Oh, and what do we got? Incredible Hulk, issue number 152. Like, I had this is filling a bunch of holes right here, Joe. You're insane. Thank you. Issue number 158. We got a nice battle with the Rhino and Hulk right there, man. What is it? Frenzy on Counter Earth. Oh, yes. Um, the Rage of the Rhino. And we got Incredible Hulk. He's holding his buddy Jim right there, who later dies of AIDS in the more recent comic books. But one of his big sidekicks right there. Oh, yeah, I know this. Um, it's got uh, Ant-Man. This is the Incredible Shrinking Hulk. He, like, gets all small and everything. Issue number 154. These are incredible. We good shape, too. Holy cow. And then we have the Incredible Hulk, everybody. Issue number 153. Dude, thank you so much, Joe. Dude, that's awesome. It's what most of covers too. My favorite artist. What? Well, I know oh, you, you just pulled out some Gil 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 Kane covers before, so. Yeah. Um. And then let's see. This one, Tramp, Tramp. 
I, I don't I don't know who did the cover for twenty nine that you have. Um, I'm looking. Um twenty nine I don't know, but I know thirty one is the last issue of Adventures to Fear or Fear. Um that's the last one, final issue of the series. But that's no, uh, I have it written on it. Let's see here. If I can get away with the blue tape here. I hate Tony, while he, I want to go over something about a sketch guy who's going to be there. <laughs> oh, that was good. Tony, uh, real quick, I just want to show you the Strange Tales 110. Oh, <laughs> oh, I just so I finally took it out of my hands, okay? I finally took it out of my hands. I guess I'm getting sweat marks through, through four things of plastic. Oh, for sure. But when you see it on the on the replay, bro, that was like that was Tony, so check that out. <laughs> Tony, this is the guy who a be, be there who's really, really, really good. And I'm good, uh, and I'm friends with him on, on Facebook personally. He knows my real name and everything. And he's out. Uh I have two of him. I have a Thanos and I have this, which is a an homage to um uh, Captain America uh, annually. Yeah, annually. Yeah. yeah, and uh, he actually did it. It's just, I mean, he's really good, and he's really reasonably priced. And if you want a Captain Marvel, his name is Sajad Shah. He's so good. He's worked with Marvel before and everything else. He's just a great artist right there. And he'll do sketch covers for you at a reasonable price, too. Oh, and that's if you, cool. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you and I will get together, and we'll uh, hang out at C2E2, and we'll get a nice Sajad Shah cover for you. All right, cool. He already knows I got two of them. You know, I even told him, he's like, what are you getting next? You know, so. Hey, Dan Heck, would he be the cover artist? He's They got him listed as the artist inside. No. Of would that be that, interior? That's, that's probably, interior, huh? Yeah, he's interior. Probably uh, Ralph, Mac uh, Ralph Macchio, not the Karate Kid. <laughs> oh, man. But Thank you again, Joe. Thank you, Farrah, your wife, Joe. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. That's awesome, Jeff. Thank you for unboxing that in front of all of us, bro. Wow, yeah, Marvel Joe, that you you are a true act of kindness right there, and I, we 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 appreciate that. Absolutely. Man, you guys, great great show, man, you guys. Oh right. yeah, if you guys haven't subbed up Joe, do that for sure. Great guy. I talked to him on Instagram, and he's just one of a kind, class act. All right, be sure to sub up Chad too. No, I appreciate yep. that. Thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, uh, Tony, want to go over what's going on everybody's channels coming up? Yeah, uh, me. Uh, oh, we got to do. Uh, I'm doing uh, the slab or not the slab Monday with the uh, economics and uh, who that and Jeffrey and uh, guess I, I got some books this week. I think. Oh snap! <laughs> and uh, so I'm, like. I'm, I haven't decided who the guest is gonna be yet. Like I'm, I've been kind of slacking on that department for a little bit, but it's just like no worries. No worries. But I usually find somebody. Uh, what do I got? I am tomorrow. I'm gonna be on the Great Legend auction. Uh, for sure. I got Stranger Things coming up. My guest on Stranger Things with TJ and I on March twelfth is uh just so happens to be Chad, who's in our who's our with us today. Uh -huh. Is it twelfth or thirteenth? Because the thirteenth is the Tuesday, you know. Uh, whatever the Tuesday, Tuesday is that. Yeah, week. because on Monday, I we do the MCE show, so I just want right. to make sure. Yeah, yeah, it's the next day. Yeah. All right. Cool. And Chad's bringing some friends with him, and we're gonna do some stranger things, which um, statue collecting, everything from uh, Randy Bowen to sideshows to homemade statues to random artists here and there, some cool stuff. Um, what else we got? Comic Core two coming up, but uh. Tony, our next hunt is not for C2E2, but maybe you want to put it off a week and do us live C2E2. We can just do an additional one. We well, here's it. the thing, because the challenge is you got to get a book that day. <laughs> the book that day has to be something to do with your favorite character. Oh. You have to get it's got to get something of your favorite character on that day. That's a challenge, Jeffrey. I know you're not you're not going to be at C two E two, but you need to get a Hulk book, Jeffrey. You need to get a Hulk book that day. I got my I got my <laughs> ticket today. Uh, my convention pass for WonderCon. Right, and, and that's that that's the week before. 
That's the one I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely hoping to find a grail there because yeah, I'll leave my. Jeffrey, okay? Uh -oh. Back down a little bit, I think. All right. Uh, just to let you know, Jeffrey's at WonderCon. Uh, and, uh, so I want to stop. Oh, he's breaking up. Yep. Yeah, we might have lost Jeff. We might have lost, lost Jeff. Might yeah. have lost him. Well, at least we got that face on. Yeah. I just want to so my my internet sucks or something. It's crap. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, you're coming back now. So you might what? Be yeah, so I got my ticket for WonderCon. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I'm trying to get a slab 102 at WonderCon. So if you got one, find me. I'll buy it from you. Very cool. Uh, all right. So, and Ch so we'll, Chad, what do you got going on? All right. So, uh, as I mentioned, Monday nights, I am actually part of the MCE. The they they mainly collect statues, and that's why we're going to be joining JD and TJ, the Slab Dragon Watson on Stranger Things. But they brought me in to kind of talk comics. So Monday night, we got the Geek Show coming up, and that'll be on. 8 p.m. Eastern time, so I guess around 7 o'clock Central and 5 o'clock Pacific. All the books that you saw me get today, I'm getting ready to edit a video that I went into the stores and hunted for, so I'll have a video coming out soon on my channel for that. And then I want to say next Wednesday on my channel at 90 MF Comics, we'll have the 90 Miles from Comics podcast where I get together with me and my buddies and we talk about new weekly books that we've read from last week so if you guys want to check that out at my channel 90 mf comics i appreciate it tony thank you for having me on here man this has been awesome to hang out with you jeff and jd i can officially say i've been on a show with you guys on your channel now and i've <laughs> done another show with jd and jeff so it's pretty cool man it is you're a good yeah. dude man i appreciate having you we're glad to have you very much oh appreciate it man i hope i was able to hold a little bit of weight with you guys because you guys are some heavy hitters here with the hunting <laughs> man so <laughs> yeah, not all the time every once in a while i pull out a turok one and i have i'm a flyweight man i'm like having i know jeffrey I, I i pulled out some rough rough weeks so yeah well you you you, you smashed me this week jd so deserve it win Dude, I, I, thank you very much so so the thing is you have to uh, tell the story while you buy it, but the funny thing, you know, to Tony, you and I, we definitely should do something for the hunt <coughs> while we're in CC2E2 because we have the booth and live interaction of the hunt version, you know? <laughs> yeah, we'll do something. Yeah. We'll get it on there. We'll stream something. Y'all see, see us live in C2E2. So, Better. Uh, I think that we're going to have... Uh, what is it? So the hunt dude. So is the hunt gonna be like uh it's not the week of C2E2, is it? Or is it before? What week is C2E2? Well, uh, three, three weeks from tonight. You're four weeks away from WonderCon. Yeah. Okay, okay, so cool. So but we'll find out who the uh oh what's the theme? What's the theme for the book coming up for since uh, we're dating? Uh buy a book, uh well, let's just <laughs> Oh, you said buy, buy something to do with your character. That's what it is. Your favorite character, but he can't be the title character. Okay, okay. But it has to be that day. So he, our favorite... A, a favorite character, character has to be on a cover like, titled The Incredible Hulk. Right. You, you have a few options. Like, for you, it would be Hulk, but you have other ones that you like a lot. You're a big fan of a few other ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, something fun like that. Just have cool. fun, fun with it. If I change it, I change it, but I'm not going to all right. Well, guys, it's been fun. Glad to have y'all people come out, show some books, have some laughs, and meet great people. We'll see you next time on The Hunt. Y'all guys have a good one. Thank you, guys. Thank you all.